Before we start our program tonight, I want to take a few moments to talk about the brutal killings of unarmed African Americans that have occurred recently. Uh, like all of you, I'm horrified. Uh, I'm horrified that this keeps happening over and over and over again, and it really must stop. I want to tell you that all of us at UCLA Samueli, faculty, staff, and students, condemn these brutal killings, and we stand in solidarity with our Black community. But words are not enough. Words are really not enough. It is time to act. And at Samueli, we've got work to do. We've got to look closely at faculty and staff diversity. Uh, we've got to look at student success. We've got to look at climate issues and so much else. And I promise you that we will do it. It's not going to be easy. Uh, it's going to take all of us pulling together. Uh, and it's going to take all of us staying true to our core Bruin values. But if we do that, I know that we can succeed. Thank you. Yeah, well, hello. My name is Jared Rivera. I am a civil engineering and physics double major and a proud member of the class of 2020. Today, as we gather virtually from all around the world to celebrate our graduation from UCLA Samueli, I have the privilege and the honor of doing the land grant acknowledgement on behalf of the American Indian Science and Engineering Society at UCLA. The UCLA Samueli School of Engineering acknowledges the Gabrielino and Tongva peoples as the traditional land caretakers of the Tavangar, which is the Los Angeles Basin and the Southern Channel Islands. As a land grant institution, uh, we pay our respects to our ancestors, elders, relatives, and relations, past, present, and emerging. As we move forward, may all of us continue to recognize the ways in which UCLA and its graduates may serve the indigenous peoples of the Tavangar. Kakinash, thank you. Welcome everyone. Good afternoon, graduates and honored guests. Welcome to the 56th commencement of the UCLA Samueli School of Engineering. I'm T.C. Tao, professor in the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department and chair of the Faculty Executive Committee. It's my privilege to serve as faculty marshal for our 2020 commencement. This year, we are doing things a little differently. While we cannot gather together at Poly Pavilion, we're joined together nonetheless, virtually, to celebrate our graduates' accomplishments. So first, a program note. You could either watch this entire program, which includes degree conferral by all of our departments and the Masters of Science online program with chapter information to guide you through different parts of the ceremony. Or if you prefer, you can have the option of clicking on one of the videos listed on the commencement page, which will direct you to a shorter program that only includes degree conferral by an individual department. Each video will carry the beginning and the end of the ceremony. To officially kick off today's ceremony, I'd like to welcome our national anthem singer, who is an alumna, Karen Ogar Sinopsky. Who say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and in the rocket red Thank you, Corinne. 
And hello and welcome everyone, parents, family members, and friends. Wherever you are, I'm so happy you could join us. Today is an extra special day in the lives of our UCLA Samuel Lee graduates. You've passed all your exams, you've finished all your projects, you've completed all your course requirements, and today you've earned an engineering degree from one of the best universities on the planet. So congratulations. I know how difficult these last couple of months have been for all of you. COVID-19 has thrown us all for a loop, but it's especially affected all of our students. Uh, you've had to switch suddenly to remote instruction. You've had to take remote exams. Uh, you've had to stay away from campus, uh, from the friends that you love. Uh, and worst of all, you've had to leave campus without a chance to say goodbye. But I want you to know I'm so proud that you stepped up and met all these challenges with poise, with tenacity, with ingenuity, with resilience. And I know at times it must have been hard. It must have been demoralizing. But I'll tell you what, I think you've shown everyone what it means to be a true Bruin and to be a problem-solving engineer. I want you all to give yourself a round of applause for not relenting in the face of these extraordinary challenges, for not giving up. And I want you to know how proud I am of every one of you. And I know that your professors, your family, your friends all feel the same way. And so here we are today, joined in front of our computers, our phones, our tablets, from all around the world to honor our graduating class of 2020. Please know we'll have an on-campus celebration for you in the future because you deserve it. You deserve a chance to celebrate with your friends and family on our beautiful campus. Uh, but for now, let's join hands virtually at this special moment as we honor you for everything that you've accomplished against extraordinary odds to reach one of the most important milestones of your lives. And now I'm delighted to introduce our 2020 commencement speaker. Jason Drogi may be a familiar face to many of you. Uh, last year, he, he joined us at our Sugar Distinguished Speaker Series program. And we had such great feedback from his talk that I wanted him to come back and deliver our commencement remarks to our class of 2020. Jason has a wonderful and inspirational story. So he started his career in a UCLA dorm as a computer science undergraduate, and he co-founded a music startup, Crawling the Web to Find MP3 Files. He's had all kinds of phenomenal successes, and he's played leadership roles in many global corporations. Jason found his entrepreneurial calling in internet-based technologies, and he's held executive roles in e-commerce, in enterprise software, and internet services companies. Now, he was a VP and head of Uber Everything. And in that role, he led the global Uber Eats food delivery division, and he helped it grow into the company's second largest revenue source behind its core ride hailing business. So without further ado, our commencement speaker, Jason Drogi. Hello, UCLA Bruins. I'm so excited to be here with you today on the day of your graduation. I'm also excited to be your commencement speaker. So thank you to Dean Murthy and UCLA for inviting me to be your commencement speaker today. It's so exciting that all of you are graduating. What an accomplishment to get an engineering degree from one of the greatest schools on earth. So I'm here today to talk to you about a few things. Uh, one is knowing what you want out of life is probably the most important thing that you can know. So I'll talk a little bit about that and talk about how that connects to my experiences at UCLA as a former Bruin. I, I went to UCLA in 1996, which is 24 years ago now. Um, seems like just yesterday. It was an amazing experience for me, which is why I'm excited to be with you here and um, honored to be able to do this. The second thing that I wanna to talk to you about is this idea of no reduce. And there's a bunch of subconcepts uh, that I think are important. Um, and I've learned most of what I've learned in my life through entrepreneurship. And I didn't always plan on being an entrepreneur. It just sort of happened. I initially wanted to be a writer. And so how did I end up at an engineering school if I wanted to be a writer? Well, um, I went to UCLA and not another school because 
I actually thought that the intersection of technology and media um, was interesting. I learned about this later in high school and I saw UCLA as a really interesting place to do that. And my first plan was to actually go into film school, um, mostly because I wanted to do something creative, something interesting, something different than where I grew up, which was the Bay Area. And along the course of that journey, I discovered something amazing about technology and amazing about entrepreneurship, which it could provide that same level of creativity, experimentation, teamwork um, uh, that I was seeking in maybe the creative arts, but at a different scale. And that's the thing that's great about engineering is you get to build and you get to do things and build things at scale. Think about that as you're going out into your careers and your jobs, the problems you get to solve with the knowledge that you have is unprecedented. The scale of problems we have in the world, the scale of challenges that are in technology, the scale of opportunities in the internet and technology I thought were big back in the 90s, they're 10, 20, 100 times bigger now. So an amazing time, uh, but in order to capture it and in order to capture the opportunities, you have to know what you want out of life. And so my journey from wanting to be a writer and going to film to being an entrepreneur in technology um, might seem different, uh, but uh, you know, the characteristics of what they provided me um, were what I wanted out of life, which is I wanted the ability to create, I wanted the ability to explore and the ability to discover. In fact, we started a business at UCLA, me and five other computer science students. It was called Scour. We started in the UCLA dorms. It was an amazing time to be starting a company back in 1997. It was the first audio video image uh, search engine on the internet. And we were able to start it because UCLA had invested so much in the infrastructure for uh, uh, the network and UCLA being the first node on the internet, it's appropriate that this uh, would be a school that had invested in all of this. So we built this, it got very, very popular. Um, and we scaled it and you can find anything. You know, we imagined a world where you could find any movie or music or um, photograph that you could license, except the market wasn't ready for that yet. So we had satisfied our need to discover and explore, um, but we were sort of faced with the realities of business along the way. Now it got very, very popular. It was a very um, successful uh, a service at the time, but ultimately uh, we were sued <laughs> for um, all of the things that happened with file exchanges uh, back in the 90s and early 2000s, we were sued for $250 billion. Now imagine that, you're 20, 21 years old, you've built something that's very popular, you've innovated, you feel creative, uh, you're, you're, you're very excited about it, and then you realize that there's an entire industry against you. And that led to the ultimate business failure of Scour. Um, however, it led to a huge amount of success in uh, our ability to learn about business and our ability to learn about ourselves and how each of us handled risk. Each of us made decisions under pressure. And those are challenges. Those are things that you can learn once. And then every time you relearn it, you get better and better. So I would encourage you as you look at what you wanna do and where you wanna go, don't underestimate the power of knowing what you want out of life. And it doesn't have to be a thing, but it should be a set of characteristics. You wanna be creative or you want predictability or you want risk or you don't want risk. For me, it was incredibly positive to understand what risk really meant, um, what business meant, what organizing people really meant. And it was because I knew I wanted to explore and discover, which led me to take the risks that I took to learn. And it actually led me on a career of entrepreneurship in the technology space that I'm very, very proud of. It's been um, quite successful, not always successful, plenty of failures in there. Getting sued for a quarter trillion dollars is not a success by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a huge learning experience at a very young age. So that's one thing. Um, the second is this idea of no redos. Uh, if you're like me in school, uh, you had some redos and you had this concept that if you didn't get a good grade, you didn't do something right, you could go and redo it. And that's true in the real world too, except there is this other concept, which is time. You only have so much time. So make use of every bet you make uh, everything you do, be mindful of the people that you associate with. They will inform your future. Take your bet and go with it. And just know that looking back isn't going to do you any good. All you can do is learn from the past. Starting five different businesses over the last 20 years, it's how I got to where I am. I helped build the Uber Eats business. I led the Uber Eats business at Uber. Um, it's in 50 countries, 500 plus cities around the world. It became very, very successful. And a lot of it was because of the lessons that I learned very, very early in life. Because you can't cram for your career. 
and you can't cram for your life. And as the ultimate crammer for finals and the ultimate crammer for tests, I can tell you that you can't do nothing for 10 years, then cram for 10 years and catch up to the very best people in the world because they've been working for those decades to get better and better and better. Finally, I, like, I wanna leave you with, with a couple sayings or phrases that I sort of tell myself whenever I take risks or whenever I advise people taking risks. One thing about taking risk is that it's, well, it's risk. <laughs> Not everyone agrees that it's gonna be a good idea and you shouldn't ignore them, but you should take into account that everyone is figuring this out, including you, including me synthesizing the best of what people have to say and offer with your own viewpoint is very important uh, because it'll allow you to have conviction and minimize regrets. And so I say, people say things. So that's a, you know, if you worked with me in the past, you, you would hear me say, uh, people say things. Um, and so just keep in mind that there's a lot of people who uh, want to inform and want to act like they're the expert, but no one really knows the future, especially in engineering where you can just build it. The second piece, uh, of advice that I have for you is that the end is never the end. And that I, I don't mean that to be doom and gloom, even though I know we're in a very hard time and I don't mean it in that context. What I mean it is when you are doing hard things, you will be faced many, many times with moments where your brain is telling your body that, that you're done or, or, you know, some form of that. And you're not. And all of the successful people I know, all of the people who founded Scour at UCLA, who went on to start other businesses, they all experienced the same thing, which was moments where they just weren't sure if it was going to happen. And the ones who succeeded are the ones that pushed through. So with that, I'll conclude with uh, a, a, a congratulations. Um, hopefully some of the stories that I told uh, will be useful to you in your career. Um, hopefully I get to meet some of you going forward. And again, thank you to UCLA uh, and Dean Murphy for the opportunity to talk to you, however remote. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and go Bruins. Thank you, Jason, for that uplifting speech. I'm now proud to present our student speaker, Imani Chantel Alston, a bachelor's degree candidate from civil engineering. If someone had told me six months ago that the world would be going through a global pandemic, that toilet paper would become a hot commodity, or that I would be speaking at a virtual commencement ceremony, I would have laughed in disbelief. If someone had told me three weeks ago that the tone of my original commencement speech would drastically change due to the civil unrest we are currently experiencing in these United States, I would have been in shock. A multitude of injustices have plagued our country since its founding, and the effects can be felt now more than ever. As an African-American woman, the brutal killing of unarmed Black Americans hits close to home. And the ensuing protests that have occurred during an era of COVID-19 have brought this issue and many others to the forefront of all of our minds. Right now, the world is cracked open and at its core is crying out for people to heal it. Good afternoon to the class of 2020, esteemed faculty, family, and friends. Though I'm sure none of us had envisioned anything like this, it is our current reality. And the past three months, have created challenges, obstacles, and learning curves that we have all had to adjust to. It is important now more than ever to come together and celebrate the victories that are happening amidst uncertainty. So to all the graduates, I say stand up and clap for yourself. To graduate from any level of college is an incredible feat, but to graduate surrounded by global turbulence is all the more awe-inspiring. The past few months do not take away from the years you have spent at UCLA earning your degree, and we must all be proud to have made it to today.
My journey at UCLA began eight years ago. I was participating in a pre-collegiate program and spent five weeks of every summer roaming through Bolter Hall and Engineering 4. Even at that age, I knew that I wanted to make a difference and impact the lives of those around me, but I wasn't quite sure how I would get to that point. It was during those summers in the math, science, and engineering design classes that a light turned on, illuminating engineering as the way in which I could make change. In fact, I chose my major based on one of our summer field trips to a water treatment plant when our tour guide excitedly explained that it was engineers who had calculated and designed a sewer system of over 6,000 miles to service the millions of people who live in and visit Los Angeles. I'm sure that some of you today have similar stories to mine. When I finally became an engineering student, I was thrilled to be taking a step down the path of learning how to make change and improve our society. For many of us graduates, it was while we sat in lectures or studied with friends that the light of interest and engagement switched on. The timing has been different for us all and the topics or activities that excite us are numerous and diverse, whether they are related to our coursework or extracurriculars. Outside of class, I spent my free time tutoring and mentoring underrepresented youth from the local middle and high schools in math and science. I witnessed the effects that that engagement had in sparking a new light and hunger for engineering in the eyes of our future generation. Their enthusiasm replenished my enthusiasm when classes started to get a little tough and the quarter system made the weeks pass by in an instant. I think it is safe to say that for most of us, at one point or another, things got difficult. That derivation problem wasn't giving us the answer we wanted, or we waited just a little too long to start working on a project. But we persevered and in the end, we were better for it. We learned from our mistakes and it got us here today. And now we look toward the future. During our time at UCLA, we weren't necessarily given the answers to today's or even tomorrow's problems. Instead, we were given the tools to solve them. Tools that came from both inside and outside the classroom from conversations with our peers and faculty, from the late nights that turned into early mornings, and from our shared experiences as UCLA engineering students. The question remains, and I pose it to you. How will you utilize the tools you now have to turn these dark times into light? In an age when it is so easy to focus on our individual goals and pursuits, the world is looking to us and placing their hopes in the dream that we can come together to make an impact on this global pandemic and the many injustices we are currently experiencing. This is a defining moment, not just for the world, but for each and every one of us. As engineers, we have a responsibility to help solve problems and affect change in our communities. For example, over the past few months, the Makerspace at UCLA has produced face shields for healthcare workers. Globally, we have seen peaceful protests and actions taken to begin to address the disparities felt by different communities. Similarly, we, the graduating class of 2020, must be beacons of light to help guide our world through these challenging times. But just as we look forward to resolving the problems of today, I urge you to shine your light on others. Inspire the generations of tomorrow to be resilient and persevere amidst ever-changing circumstances. In the words of human rights activist Desmond Tutu, do your little bit of good where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. 
None of us could have imagined that our special day would look like this. Despite everything, we have made it to today, which marks the end of one journey and the beginning of the rest of our lives. Everyone is watching us. The pressure is on our generation of scholars. Now is the time for us to shine. To the class of 2020, always remember that we are brilliant, resilient, and an inspiration to our communities. Congratulations, we did it. Thank you, Imani, for representing UCLA Similarities Class of 2020. At this time, we're going to recognize each of our 2020 graduates for the presentation of the bachelor's degree, master's degree, and PhD. We'll proceed alphabetically by department before moving on to our online master's program. Again, you can follow along here or click on an individual department's video to watch the degree conferral and the rest of the ceremony. Congrats again. All of us at Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering are tremendously proud of you. You have worked extremely hard to earn your degree today, despite very difficult circumstances. I know you will continue to forge ahead and make us all very proud. As you enter a new phase in your life, remember, we are all rooting for you and have every confidence in your abilities to translate what you learned at UCLA into great things. It is my honor to present the candidates for the bachelor's degree, the master's degree, and the PhD degree in chemical engineering. Candidates, congratulations. Abdulaziz Al Turki, Sarah Azam, Jesse Bokum, Ernest Chen, Shi Wei Chuang, Mackenzie Clay. Jeremy Alexander Connor, Yu Sun Hong, Alec Jager, Masie Jorat, Du Jia Kong, Fan Li, Xin Ru Li. Xing Lu, Xing Xiang Ma, Luke Minardi, Ryan Shiel, Wen Yua Shi, Esan Shirzai Sani, Angus Morgan Sidor. Brian Walker, Jie Wu, Peng Cheng Shu, Ji Hao Zhang, Anas Alakili, Bowen An. Savannah Bagdasarian, Yun Ha Kim, Michael G. Hyuk Park, Gokberg Unal, Yan Tao Xia, Jimmy Xu, Xing Wu Zhou. Allison Erpello Abad, Elizabeth Diana Abramian, Caitlin Roma Anderson, Yuki Asahara, Anna Catherine Blake, 
Marcelo Canitello. Vito Anthony Canuso IV. Blanca Carrera. Jared Masaru Castillo. Juliet Boyan Chia. Mabel Chen. Brandon Chiang. Xinlan Chang. Varun Chaudhry. Ryan David Condenza. Kristen Dakers. Tan H. Dang. Gabriella Gloria Juhadi. Stephen Benjamin Drews. Stanislav Eilhart. Kelly Ann Flint. Alexander Fry. Victoria Marie Friesen. Kyle T. Fudena. Madison Taylor Garrison. Richa Ghosh. Nicholas Peter Grunder. Brian Malcolm Guan. Yi Zhen Guan. Jeronimo Gudino. Pardis Habibi. Adam Daniel Hernandez. Jacob Hernandez. David Su. Ye Won Jiang. Mattia Leon Jovanovic. Nidi Kondiker. Keegan Michael Kim. Brian Young Nam Ko. Michael Anthony Krupnak Jr. Yuk Jun Kwan. Ryan Sheng Lao. Dong Hyun Lee. Esther J. Lee. Benjamin James Legro. Norliak Vesoth Lim. Yi Cheng Liu. Sean Jeffrey Loftus. Anshul Mendirata. Nithya Anjanan Menon. Paolo Morales III. Matthew Ryan Pereira Yi. Kurt Serena Batoy Quijano. Francis Thomas Quinn. Colin Scott Ryder. Jamie Lynn Salinger. Kevin Harrison Shohat. Sahil Singal. Alexander Suhu. Alex J. Sun. Jesse Anthony Toledo. Alina Catherine Tunick. William Turner. Joseph Santos Vera. Peter Wang. Nathan Dow Warren. Owen Henderson Watkins. Connie Gaiying Wong. Lindsay Kayla Wong. 
Abigail Alyssa Young, Ryan J. Young, Joshua Nathan Yu, Class of 2020, welcome back. I hope you've had the opportunity to enjoy this wonderful moment with your department chair and with your fellow graduates. Now, please take some time after the ceremony to enjoy all the congratulatory video clips from your fellow Bruins, favorite professors, and Samuel Lee alumni. While they may not be sharing this day with you in person, I know how tremendously proud they are of all your great accomplishments. Now, before I let you go off and celebrate with your family and friends, we have one more tradition to honor, and we're going to do this together. Now, I know you may not have received your regalia yet, but in the spirit of celebrating this occasion, get your favorite Instagram or Facebook Class of 2020 commencement photo frame ready. Don't forget to use hashtags EngineerTogether and UCLA2020. Bachelor's degree candidates, please have your pretend tassels ready to turn. Masters and PhD recipients, please have your imaginary hoods ready to don. May you remember this day as a benchmark of your great journey. May you march forward with fond memories of UCLA Samueli. And may you always take pride in your abilities to engineer change that will impact many generations to come. Now, by the power vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I am proud to announce to the degree candidates before us that you have completed all requirements for the degree and are now UCLA graduates. Congratulations and go Bruins! Hello graduates of the class of 2020. This is Henry Samueli, namesake of the school and also triple alumnus of UCLA Engineering. It's obviously very unfortunate that you've had to experience your graduation virtually, but hopefully as this country's next generation of innovators, you can use your newly acquired engineering skills to truly make a difference in the world and develop the technology to better enable us to deal with such crises in the future. Engineers are all about problem solving, and we sure have a big one for you to go after. Congratulations again to all of you, and welcome to the prestigious club of being able to call yourselves UCLA Engineering Alumni. Go Bruins! Go Bruins! Congratulations, graduates! Go Bruins! You are a Bruin. You are ready. Make us all proud. Hi, this is Ron Sugar, former chairman and CEO of Northrop Grumman Corporation, and a proud UCLA engineering alumnus from over 50 years ago. Congratulations to you for this momentous milestone of personal achievement. You are on your way to an amazing future. Good luck. Congratulations, go Bruins. Congratulations, UCLA engineers of 2020. Use what you have learned at UCLA and always think out of the box and you can defy all odds. Stay healthy, stay positive, go Bruins! Class of 2020, congratulations. You have made it. We are so proud of you. All right, congratulations, graduates. What up, BE? Hey, what's going on, bioengineering seniors? This pandemic has shown us that we need bioengineers now more than ever. Go take on the world. Congratulations. I just wanted to give a big congratulations from our organization to the graduating class of 2020. Thank you guys so much for all you've done for our engineering student orgs on campus. We're going to miss you guys so much. We're Aki and we're so proud of our graduating class of 2020. Go Bruins! Go Bruins. Congrats to the graduating class of 2020. Thank you for everything. Go Bruins! Go Bruins. Go Bruins. <laughs> congratulations everyone. Thank you for taking your time to help us. For my courses and homework, to our Verilog and MATLAB projects. And making our personal lives special. We'd like to congratulate all the seniors who have made us part of their lives these past four years. Congratulations, the class of 2020. Woo! <laughs> Congrats! 
warmest congratulations to the class of 2020, especially to those in my CS133 in the winter and the Dr. Choi from my lab. Congratulations. I'm super proud of all of you, and I hope I get to see you sometime soon. Congratulations on finishing at UCLA Engineering, and I wish you success in your careers. A huge congratulations to the class of 2020. We made it. Life won't always have prize tickets, flaming Pop-Tarts, or toilet seats to motivate you. But find your own inner Pop-Tart and never stop learning. Don't ever take a job that you don't thoroughly enjoy. They'll never pay you enough. So congratulations, you're in charge now. Congratulations to all the 2020 graduates. We are so proud of you. Please carry on your good work. Wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020, from the Office of Academic and Student Affairs. Yay! Congratulations to the class of 2020. So, what's next?